The storm strikes again. The Bears have bite and the Trojans prevail again. It's all part of Thursday night action. Lawrence is back with the Thursday night rewind. Lawrence. Thanks, Van. The Cleveland Storm have scored at least 40 points a game so far this season. Let's see what number they put up on the fellow Westsiders, the Cibola Cruises. <laughs> Well, it's homecoming for Cibola Thursday night, and I think they invited the wrong guest. Storm quarterback Cole Gauchi and the Storm offense continues their dominance in Class 5A. On the Storm's very first play from scrimmage, Gauchi goes up the gut on the quarterback keeper, outrunning the Cibola D for a 78-yard touchdown score. Just like that, it's 7-0 Cleveland. The big number four rush for two touchdowns and a total of 95 yards. The chunk of it came on that run. Cibola would answer back, though, tying this one up at 7 after a Storm turn over Cougar quarterback Brett Saxon hits Drew Giannis for an 18-yard strike. Giannis had two touchdown grabs, racking up 156 yards on the night, but the Cougars couldn't weather that storm. Gauchi ready to go back out there, and so is his homeboy running back Romel Jordan. Storm take the lead, and well, they don't look back after this touchdown play. Jordan gets the grab and does the rest, shedding tacklers, going 23 yards for his first of two touchdowns on the night. He caught seven passes for 255 yards. It was no looking back to Cleveland after that. More Storm. Gauchi was surgical last night, this time airing it out to the big 1-1. Jerome Gabrzewski for the score. Gauchi completes 11 of 14 pass attempts for 440 yards and six touchdowns. It doesn't end there. The Storm went into the half up 47-14. They torched Cibola for 633 total yards of offense as Cleveland remains the number one team in New Mexico, putting the smackdown on Cibola 61-28. Cleveland is now 8-0. These fans have a reason to dress up like Batman and Robin, only in blue. I came up with the idea. So with that being said, you got to have some school spirit and pride for your football team. Cleveland has a whole lot of it. Here are the final results for week nine of the Spirit Stick Bowl. Cleveland wins by a, a percentage of 59%. Tularosa had 37%. Cleveland wins the Spirit Stick in. In the other Metro game, it's Sandia and La Cueva tussling in their District 2 5A opener. The ball is, well, this ball game is scoreless until the Matadors put together a scoring drive. Craig Kaufman hands the ball off to running back Daniel Cones, and he dragged a couple of Bears along the way, finally being chased down by Weston Mathis. A couple of plays later, well, our cameraman Robert Pugsley gets taken out as Brendan Barker barrels into Pugs. Check this play out. It takes a lot to get Pugs off his feet. Down goes Pugsley. One, two, three. He gets back up. He's a machine, ladies and gentlemen, like Mike Tyson in punch out. Sandy attacks on three more points thanks to the boot of quarterback Craig Kaufman. He drills one. It's 3 0 Sandia, but it was the rushing attack of La Cueva that took the spotlight. The Bears rack up just under 300 yards in the game on the ground thanks to the hard running of Tyler Wolf. Let's call him Teen Wolf. Looks like he was car surfing out there, rushing for 101 yards, scoring three TDs off just 10 carries. That one was for 61 yards. La Cueva takes care of Sandia 41 to 18. So let's head down south, the Gadsden Panthers at the Mayfield Trojans. Mayfield playing an unkind host at the Field of Dreams. Running back Richie Milks gets the carry and he makes Panthers miss en route to the end zone. He had 18 carries for 259 yards with three touchdowns. The Trojans didn't let, let up on the defensive side. Mayfield coming up with the sack. And then more offense from Mayfield. Axton Franzler with play action pass. Franzler with a pretty ball to Josh Trujillo. Mayfield rolls Gatson 42 to six. Well, Van, there's your dose of the Thursday Night Rewind. All beatdowns, Mayfield, La Cueva, and Cleveland rolling along pretty good so far. Cleveland has a good shot at going undefeated this season. Of course, if my Rio Rancho Rams don't take care of them in the final game of the season, Van. Oh, wow, that's right. You're a Rio Rancho <laughs> alum over there. Hey, let's hope they can do some work out there. We'll see. <laughs> All right, man. I don't well, before we get out of here, let me make a correction. Clovis Christian beats Roy tonight, 37-31. to 31. So Clovis Christian over Roy. 37 to 31. And that's a wrap for us. The New Mexico Chevy Dealers.com Football Friday Show has played its last highlight. Until next week, we'll see you then.